Well, hello my friends. This is the first two minutes in the garage slash shop. Coming back from Mexico. I forgot what a nice job I did putting everything away. And there's no, there's, there's thought in all of this. Both vehicles are backed right up to the doors because there is one way that guys break into garages. They steal a car and they smash through the door with the stolen car. So they have to smash through both vehicles to get in. Although then they could crawl in. Anyway, back on the positive. We're home. Except, so look how nice that beautiful clean shop is, right? That's just a camera on the bench there. A camera case. Right on, eh? But look at what we came home to last night. And it's still coming down. We're going to get 10 to 15 centimeters. We drove through this on the way home from the airport at 11.30 last night. It's about noon now. Don't feel sorry for me. I just had three months, three months and five days in Mexico, right? But it is nasty. There's the boneyard over there. All my little special places to hide are still under snow. Like I line my lawnmowers up on this wooden sidewalk. That's going to stay. I'd like for Mother Nature to take this away, but it's going to be cool for about a week. My apple tree is not ready to go yet. So the first thing is to undo all the bolts and chains and get everything kosher. Yeah, even the old compressor doesn't have uh, air in it, eh? Where is that? There we go. So I'm going to do this slowly one at a time. Because last year, <laughs> I came in and I hit the open button on the door and it tried to tear the bolts out that are holding the door closed because over here as well as having the vehicle very very close to the door I have bolts in the door right there so let's just do a little work and I'll, I'll come right back and yes I have to get stuff out of there Thank you. All right. Forgive the furnace. Let's make this little car go. This is number one. Now, luckily for me, my smart wife has ordered uh, groceries from the grocery store. She did that while we were down in Mexico. Just the basics, you know, lettuce, I don't know, peanut butter, bread, milk, thing of hamburger or spaghetti sauce, just to get us through. And, uh, and then when we get Trudy running, then she's free to get groceries and do all of the things we have to do. We even uh, by the way, we even took the, fir the the running insurance off these vehicles, but we still had uh, comprehensive insurance in case something evil did happen, because you, you guys know that is one of my major fears, right? And I'm going to just make sure we're good here. Yeah. And I'm just going to take a voltmeter and check the voltage on the battery. If we're lucky. I do have a nice little battery charger. But I'm gonna just first of all get things ready and measure the voltage on the battery. And if it's, if it's even above 11.5, I think I'll just hook it up and start it. I guess you can watch this small operation. So there's the battery. There's the positive, right? 
wrench in the other hand. Positive and negative. And we are at oh 12.24. That's pretty sweet. So I can just take this and connect it onto there and start the car, set the radio and all that stuff. Nice battery clamps on this car. The battery clamps stay on the battery and then the connections come off thus. So I'll tighten that with the wrench. So sitting for three, almost three and a half months, and I heard a little of that when it started up, right? That's that's all right. So now I'm going to get that bolt out of the door, back over here, and I'll I'll just turn you back on when that's ready. All right. So I got the bolts out. These are old head bolts off of a. Oh, they might not be. No, they might be. I don't know. They, they look like head bolts off of an old flathead, don't they? Five sixteenths. And then over here, we got a breaker called doors. Now the lights are on on the doors. And I did have a rudimentary check to see if there's ice under the doors. It doesn't seem to be. So let's hit one of the buttons. Trudy's door. Well, isn't that a beautiful thing? Alright. Uncle Bruce's door. Should go. I don't have to check the oil on either one because uh, there's no puddles of oil underneath and they were full when I left. So let's just move this car up a little bit. six radio stations there's actually if you go to S2 there's 12 radio stations we don't need that many so now we got to get Frank running let's check his voltage meter now he is a uh, socket 5 16 I believe Check the voltage first. 
open the hood. Yes, the furnace is on, but I haven't used any or much energy in the last three months doing this, so let's just check that voltage. So if it, now, this is a little older battery, so if it's above 11 and a half, we're just going to go like we did on Mrs. Katie's car. This is an older vehicle, so it actually has a little arc when you first hook it up. So voltage. Eleven point nine zero. That'll do. I am getting a little uh, lazier in my old age. I, I, I would have put a charger on this one. Oh, let's get. Hey, don't do that, Bruce. Do this. All my friends are going. Get the get the ratchet wrench. My the plus is good, and I'm going to get a little battery brush. And I'm going to clean that. And I wonder if my light still has juice in. I bet you it does, because when they ship them from China, they they have juice in it. Just clean the contact there, guys. Yeah. Was it bad? Yeah, we're going to see this light come on as soon as we have contact with said battery. I want to turn it a little bit. There it is. Contact. I've never liked these GM posts on the back here. I don't even know if the new GMs are the same or not. I'm in front of you, I know. Okay, here we are. Right there. And I'm using a ratchet wrench to tighten that little tiny little 5 sixteenths uh, nut up, right? Or bolt. And I only get a quarter of a turn at a time. So when I get there, we'll be able to start a little crank up. Good. Good. Okay, he should start. Frank, biggest star on my channel. He came to me 13 years ago and said, Hey Bruce, let's do a video channel. And you can star me. No. Okay, let's have a look at the oil. Just above the eye, like it was. There we are, ready. Did you hear the hesitation? Because the voltage was below 12. Okay, we're going to let him run. So that's it for the drama. I just have to put the chains away. And then we'll go to phase two of this operation. Okay, Frank's still charging at over 14 volts, but he's been running for a half an hour. I'm just going to set the radio stations on him, and then we're... We got wheels, baby! 
Hi guys, Bruce here. Yes, I'm home. I got a, I got a, something in the mail. And it's from the United States. This is uh, Michigan, I believe. Uh, Lewis Mowers in, uh, I'm not going to say where it is because you may not want me to tell you. But I think it's a sticker. Oh, it feels, it feels, no, it feels like there's something in there. So let's, uh, let's get something to slice with here. Flyers, ratchets, miscellaneous, ready to do 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 bada boom bada bing. Got it. Okay. Oh, I might not have to. No, oh, I'm gonna have to cut this. Right here. That's easier. Well, this is exciting. Some bling. So first of all, oh, what a cool sticker. I've actually seen this sticker on other guys' channels, right? Whoop. Nice. And a keychain. With the same Little guy mowing the lawn. No. Maybe he's written on the back. Nope. His name's Brock. Thank you, Brock. Whenever, uh, Whenever somebody sends, goes to the time and effort to send something to you, that's a really wonderful thing. So now I'm just going to uh, just relocate the camera and we're going to stick the sticker on the wall. Thanks. Okay, here we go. Just throw a little bit of light back on that wall. And we're going to stick this up. Why do I always have a hard time with these? <laughs> Here we go. We're going to stick you down here. Because this, eventually this light above here is going to get moved, right? So we're going to start another row. Right about there. I think that would work perfectly. It's a bigger sticker too, right? And there we are. Up with all the other great people. Starting to put some down here too. A couple of doubles down there. Not sure. So this one isn't a double, so I'm going to put it up with the main guys. So there we go. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later. Oh, hello there. Bruce here. I got a surprise box in the mail, and I don't remember ordering anything on Amazon. And it's pretty good size too. Look at this. So, I don't, there's no from anywhere on here. It sounds kind of fun. So let's just open it up and have a look. I don't know who it's from. Oh, there is a sticker. Fridley, Minnesota. Gift from Kevin. Wow. Okay. 
That's all we need to know. So well, that's pretty darn exciting, eh? Can you see this? What do you think it is? I am stunned. So, Kevin, let's have a look, see what it is. Are you there? We're recording, we'll just improve the angle just a skosh. <laughs> well, I'll be jiggered. I'm absolutely stunned. It's a leak down tester. So it's got the different uh, adapters for uh, spark plug, probably spark plug holes. Beautiful. I have never used it. Wow, man. Thank you so much, Kevin. I can't believe it. I gotta find your email on here and send you a personal thank you. So uh, I love it and uh, I'm absolutely stunned. Thank you very, very much.